I don't like how this thing's smoking, but I'm glad I made it this far, honestly. Hopefully we're not stranded here. I should have brought more snacks and a sleeping bag. So right now we're standing on Atlas Creek. Right over this hill is Joe Creek. And that's where Keener dug a trench that he says is 70 ounces a hundred. And the rest of the area is four to five ounces a hundred. And anybody who knows anything about gold mining, that's insane. That's the kind of ground that you read books about. There used to be 300 people living out here. You know, we're seeing some remains of the old timers. I think that's an old school pump. You know, they were a different breed coming out here on foot, on horses or donkeys. They didn't have one of these tracked vehicles to drive out here. They didn't have the heavy equipment. They didn't have all this stuff to get down through the ice and get down to the really rich gold. They were just getting what they could in the creek beds here. If they came all the way out here, I mean, they're risking their lives. And if they were willing to do that, there had to have been good gold. Just the fact that this building's here, this is a good sign. Just check it out. Whoa. Dude, this is cool. Look at all this. Pieces of their old beds. What is that? It's an old stove? They probably were sleeping in here and this was their shop. This is probably they were using cables and a little bucket line to get dirt out of the bottom of the creek. Look at this old wrench. Dude, this is pretty cool. I think this is some sort of an old rocker box. This is the type of wash plants they were using back then. They scribed it all out, punched all these holes, and they just worked the material down. And it kind of just goes back and forth in zigzags. This is all handmade. They probably built this out here. That's pretty cool. Right now, I'm gonna try to find some gravels here along the creek where it looks like it hasn't been touched fill up my buckets and then see if this nod will get me back to camp or not. Worst case, I'm gonna carry these buckets by hand on foot and get them back to Jack's gold room because he needs to see this. You know, we took a break from gold mining and when my dad asked me to come again, for me, it's not worth it for our family to be out here and spend most of the year grinding for this gold unless it's legendary. This is the kind of ground that we've been wanting every single year since I was 10 years old at Porcupine Creek. This is the type of ground we've been looking for. It would mean a lot for me to be able to get onto some ground that's as good as Keener says it is for my grandpa, where the gold is just out of this world. Let's get these buckets to the gold room and every guy is able to take home a really good chunk of gold. I'm just praying to God that this thing gets me back to camp. Come on, baby. Somehow this baby's still running. I didn't think this old girl would make it this far, but I think she's gonna get us home. Woo! Starting to smell not good. Come on, baby. It's 100 more yards. I need you right now. Uh-oh, died right here. That's not a good sign. I'm going out the emergency hatch. She hung on just long enough. Atlas Creek was her last adventure and it was a good one. Yo. What is hey, that? Hey, sorry, we're closed. <laughs> Going on, man? What do you got? I just brought a little bit of dirt from uh, over at Alice Creek. Oh, you so made it? I barely made it there and back, but I just yeah. want to pan this. I think we'll just do this one right here. Okay. So this is just from a little, just a little pile of dirt off to the side of the creek. I've been dying to get over there, old. I don't think anybody has really this been over Atlas, there. right? Yeah, this is Atlas Creek. Apparently, this ground can be 70 ounces per 100 yards. This isn't concentrate, this is just straight, a little pile of dirt there, you know? Was it by any machines or? There was like a little uh, old school kind of rocker box. Oh, that's yeah. what they would have used. Yeah. And this was, you know, not that far from that. Here 
There's one right there. Yeah. Hopefully there's some bigger pieces. Yeah, there you go, man. See, that's on top of the 30. That That's... Yeah. That's a big... I can pick that up. Yeah. What the... Where have you ever seen raw dirt with gold like that? Yeah, I know. I don't, the we're not even into the bucket. This is what's on, this, sitting on the screen. Look at that. Well, so I, far, I, this looks really good. You could pan for a living over there's there. There's a lot of fine. Yes, you could. Well, Hunter, you made the right call. That is chunky, Look at that. chunky stuff. That one's got a, his own little shadow. Yeah. Dude, what is that, 15 chunks and a bunch of fines? That's crazy. Yeah, your dad's going to be very, very happy. This creek that Jason's been mining on is the least rich out of all the creeks. You can't do a pan like that over here. This looks like half an ounce every bucket you put in the plant. You sure could. OK, I need to go show my dad this pan. Let's do it. I was so beside myself when that Nodwell went out across there. I was just like, you're kidding me. Frank, I wish I would have seen it. I didn't even get to see it. It looked like a train going across <laughs> down the track. I didn't, Steam you know. Train. I thought it looked I, cool. The I knew it had sky. a little bit of a problem and everything, and Hunter called me. I said, eh, go for it. What are we gonna, we got nothing to lose here. All I heard is, it's still running. <laughs> It looked pretty They're cool. They're panning right now, yeah. right? They're panning Atlas right now? Yeah. Dude. There's 300 people out there, and you can see how they scoured that out. I mean, they they were it's really 300 working. people living out there. Just the turn of the century, man, like 1910. You would think they would have, 300 people would have picked it clean. What do we got, Hunter? Look like. so this is Atlas. Yeah. How many pans? This is one pan. I clean the bucket, I clean the pan, clean the screens, and this is a little pile of dirt they left behind. Oh. A little oh. pile of dirt. My gosh. That was just sitting on top? <laughs> Dude, uh -huh. look at the chicken. Oh, Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, this not. had moss in it. Dude, you're kidding me. The, that, that dirt that you took off the side of that pile. That was. You can pick those up with your that fingers. Much. Okay, what is that a yard? I mean, I think it's an ounce a yard. That's crazy.